Hi folks, in this video I wanted to show you uh, pivot point mode and the snap functionality of Maya. Now, when you're moving and rotating and scaling your objects in Maya, what you're actually doing is grabbing a pivot point. So you can see that all of these tools are floating within the middle of our object. So when I want to scale it, um, it's, it's scaling it from the middle. When I want to rotate it, it's rotating it from the middle. This is because our pivot point is in the center of our object. And that's always going to be the case when you create new geometry or new objects in your scene. It's going to create a, a cube, for example, and it's also going to create a pivot point in the center of that cube. If you hold down D or you hit insert, you can move that pivot point. So the way this works is, let's say um, at the minute we're rotating our object. It's rotating around the center. If I hold down D and move my pivot point now, let's move it over here and try and rotate it, you can see it's rotating around uh, that pivot point. So it's not rotating around the center anymore, it's it's rotating around that pivot point. And because we moved our pivot point from the center of the object, it's, it's now changing how that object rotates. Okay, let me just hit Control Z and do that. Now we can use this to um, our advantage by moving the pivot point um, and it's going to allow us to uh, snap it, snap this object to where we want. Now let's say uh, we wanted to snap this object to the floor, Okay, we want to make it perfectly on the grid. At the minute we can't do that, it's, we're, we're, all of our move tools are moving freely and there's no option for us to snap it yet. What we're going to need to do is move the pivot point so we can then snap the pivot point and make sure that we're working perfectly on the floor. So I just wanted to show you this mode. So hitting down D, um, we're in pivot point mode now, so I can move my pivot point. And I want to snap this so it's right on the bottom of the object. Now to do this, you're going to use one of these snap tools up here. And we're going to use the middle one. This is called uh, snap to point or, sn or snap to vertex. And what this will allow us to do is with this on, we can move our pivot point now and it's going to snap it to one of our vertices, one of our corners. So again, holding down D, if I now move this, you can see that it wants to jump to a corner on our object. It's handy for us because it means that that vertex is going to be right on the bottom or top of our object. We want it on the bottom. So I'm going to move it to any one of these, these four vertices on the bottom. Okay. And now we're going to use another snap tool to snap our entire thing to the floor. So if I take that off and turn on snap to grid, what I can do now is move this down and you'll see that it's snapping. So we can snap that and it's sat perfectly on the grid now. So that way um, we know that we're working perfectly on the floor. So when we come to export this uh, to Unity or our game engine, we're going to have no problems with this um, floating about. It's not the end of the world if we don't do this. Uh, I just wanted to show you pivot point mode, which is holding down D, and a couple of the snap options that are quite handy to know. Just make sure that um, when you then go on and make changes that you are turning this off. Otherwise, um, you're going to run into issues when it comes to um, modeling and making adjustments to your models. So just make sure they're unselected. Okay, cool.